For mining to have a vibrant future for Australia, it needs to be considering two things. The first thing is it needs to be competitive with alternative locations and it also needs to be working out how to set up the Australian operations so that they are going to be sustainable and they are going to make a long-term difference to the Australian economy. So to the first point, there is a, a question around how do we make ourselves competitive and whether that's around being creative with innovation, around uh, using our people and the way that we network together in better ways to get better outcomes from them, um, as well as you know, becoming the operator of choice that as a, an Australian company, if, if we can convince people that we can operate in a better way, look after the environment, look after the communities, then we are going to be the preferred operator. As far as being sustainable within Australia and how we can make sure that we are going to make a long-term difference here, then it's a matter of investing in the support services. Um, as well as support infrastructure so that we are making a permanent difference. So whether we are in investing in ports, railway lines, um, hard infrastructure that's going to be there, or investing in some of the other support services like maintenance industry, um, or even the educational sector so that we can create the employees that we need for the future. Part of our role is to actually actively contribute to both of those. Some of the challenges that we're dealing with, first one is the skill shortage, that we are looking to grow our employment base significantly to meet some of the production targets and expansion opportunities that we have over the future years. And at the moment there isn't a, an educational pipeline creating the sort of people that we need. So we are having to look overseas. Um, I think one of the other challenges at the moment is certainty around legislation. Um, for us to make the major investments that we need to make, we need to know what sort of environment that we are going to be working in, what are the expectations of the communities, what are the expectations of the government. Well, the key thing about having a constructive relationship is one where you have an environment of openness and trust. And having openness and trust doesn't mean that you're always going to agree with each other. You need to be able to have constructive debate, you need to be able to understand each other's opinions. And I think from that point of view, we do have a constructive relationship with the current federal government. <laughs>